familiar, but I will introduce myself again, just in case. Um, so hi everybody, I'm Veronica, and um, I'm a personal development uh, specialist, life coach and energy healer, and also a reflexologist when we're not on lockdown, but at the moment I have taken off that hat. And Wait, can, um, you, can you mute me? I, I have organized these sessions essentially just to create a sense, a little space for community, a space where everybody can heal and just, um, you know, get a bit of a sense of, of Zen. Um, a space where we can all come, come together and just do something that feels really calming and nurturing and supportive. So that was why I organized these sessions in the first place. And they've been going really well. It's been such a joy to have everybody um take part they seem to be growing and growing which has been really lovely and um today is the fifth session that i've done out of all of these healing sessions which has been gorgeous um so thank you to everybody that's come and taken part it's been a pleasure to host them and what we do during these sessions is um i combine a combination of energy healing tools of meditation tools and also of different tools from personal development. And I just interweave them into the session. They're different techniques that I've cherry picked from a lot of different courses that I've done. And um, yeah, I just interweave them into a visual and meditative experience, um, which just is really useful to help to calm the mind, um, relax the body, help us to release any tension and just to generate a sense of well-being um, within, which is obviously always lovely. Um, hello to Marta and Lucy that we've just joined. So, yes, so during these sessions, I'm going to be inviting you to close your eyes and to follow different suggestions that I make. A lot of the cues that I use are different tools from visualization. I'll be using a lot of metaphors to encourage your body and mind to respond energetically to the suggestions that I'm making. And what happens is, is slowly and surely your body and your mind and your emotions just start to release and start to make way for more pleasurable feelings to enter the body. So um, different things that can come up during the session. If at any point you feel a bit sleepy, or you notice that you feel a bit lightheaded or anything like that, please know that that's completely normal. Um, a lot of the time when the energy healing starts to flow through or when you go into quite a meditative state, you can go into this um, sort of in-between state of consciousness where your conscious mind starts to slow down, but your subconscious mind is still fully engaged and you might feel a little bit sleepy. Um, if that happens, just allow it to happen. Please know that it's completely normal. And um, if anything, it's a lot easier for a lot of the healing work that we're doing to start to sink into the mind because the conscious mind isn't overanalyzing it. Um, other things that can happen, sometimes different emotions can come up during these sessions. So you might find that you feel a bit sad or a bit angry or um, you might burst out laughing. There could be lots of different reactions that happen. If anything like that comes up, please know that that's also completely normal. Um, just allow yourself to be in whatever space you're in and allow any emotions that want to arise to arise. You may also notice sometimes people's minds are really busy and they just can't seem to switch off. And then sometimes people get into these little states where you're trying to resist the mind because you think that you need to be in the zone in order to completely enjoy the session. Um, and that's not the case. If you have a really busy mind, it's OK. Just try whenever you notice that your mind gets really busy to bring your attention back to the session, bring your attention back to what I'm saying. Um, but please know, even if you do have mental chatter, that a lot of the energy work that we're going to be playing with is still going to interweave itself into your body, into your mind and into your emotions. So you will still um, experience the benefits. And yes, and just lastly, sometimes um, people can have like little releases during the session. So if your eyes start watering or you start sneezing or having a coughing fit or burping or have little weird twitches in the body or anything like that, please know that that's all completely normal too. It's just part of um, the body releasing and responding to some of the suggestions that we're making. And, uh, and just lastly, if I use at any point any terminology that you don't vibe with, that you would have preferred that I maybe had said slightly differently to match your beliefs or your needs, 
then in your mind, please change what I said so that it suits whatever you need it to say. Um, I like to play around a lot with um, obviously energy healing. So a lot of the language that I use will be suited to spiritual work. Um, if you prefer things to be worded slightly differently, all that's important here is that you enjoy the experience and also that you allow yourself to mold this experience to suit your needs. So, so that's it really. That's all from me. <laughs> so I will invite you all to make sure that you're sitting nice and comfortably. Ideally, if you're in a room where there's no distractions or interruptions, that would be awesome. Um, if you've got phones or anything like that, unless you're on your phone, please make sure that they're on silent. Wherever you're sitting, if you can just make sure that your backs are nice and supported and that you're sitting upright, it's a lot easier for the energy to channel through. And if we all just take a nice, easy, deep breath in together. And breathe out slowly and fully. Let's set a group intention that each and every one of us will get exactly what we need out of this session. And I'll invite you to close your eyes. You're just closing your eyes. And take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. Take another nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. And take one more nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. And just bring your awareness to the weight of your body on the chair where you're sitting or on the ground. And take a nice easy deep breath in. And as you exhale, just allow the weight of your body to sink into the ground a little bit deeper. Take another nice easy deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. And we'll set the intention that the earth can help to ground us. To so set the intention in your mind that the earth's magnetic and gravitational pull can help you to feel deeply grounded within your body. You're almost making way for the energy in your body to slow down. <laughs> You're giving permission for all the energy that we accumulate in our heads to just balance out into the rest of the body. We start giving permission for your body to feel deeply rooted into the ground. And 
and allow the idea to take shape that the earth can actually help to ground you and do the work for you. So take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, allow the earth to ground you fully and completely. set the intention that we can start to invite energies from the earth to flow up into our bodies and to start to circulate through the bottom half of our bodies. So we're going to invite all of those grounding energies to come in through the base of your spine and the soles of your feet to come up the front of your body, to pass through your stomach and to flow back down past the back of your body. And then the energy of the earth again starts to flow up into the base of your spine and the soles of your feet past the front of your body, into the stomach, looping back round and coming back down the back of your body into the earth. Take a nice easy deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. And once again, allowing the energies from the earth to continue to circle through your body, coming in through the base of your spine and the soles of your feet, allowing those grounding earth energies to come in and up through the front of your body, looping through the stomach and flowing back down past the back of your body and back into the ground. I wonder if you feel slightly more grounded, slightly more rooted, slightly more centered, and slightly more stable than you did a moment ago. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, just allow your body to relax just a little bit. Very good. And we'll set the intention if there's any tension in your body, whether it's physical tension, emotional tension, energetic tension, or any excessive thoughts, just set the intention that the Earth's gravitational pull can also start to effortlessly absorb anything that you're ready to release out of your system and into the earth. Take a nice easy deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully.
Very good. What if it was that easy to release tension from your body? We're going to place extra attention on releasing emotional tension today. So if you've been experiencing any symptoms of anxiety, just give your permission now for the earth to help you to release and clear that from your body. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. If you've been feeling any symptoms of stress, just give your full permission for the earth to absorb any symptoms of stress from your body. If you've been feeling any symptoms of worry, set the intention, and give our full permission to the earth to absorb any tension or any emotions in the body that you're ready to release that are connected to worry. Very nice. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, just give permission for your body to let go just a little bit more. Very good. And now just take a moment to tell your body and your mind and your emotions that everything's okay. Just take a moment to allow the comfort and the reassurance that your body, that your mind and your emotions need right now to be received. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. <coughs> and breathe out slowly and fully. Tell all of your being that you're doing a great job. And then whatever this moment is presenting to you, you're managing it really well. So tell your body that it's safe to relax. Tell your mind that it's safe to relax. Tell your emotions that it's safe to relax. And just allow yourself to welcome in the understanding that you are completely and thoroughly supported. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. 
and breathe out slowly and fully. And if you just bring your attention to the back of your body, to give your permission for all of the back of your body to also release tension. If you've been holding any tension in your muscles in your back, if anything's been weighing you down, just use your attention on the back of your body and set the intention that the Earth's magnetic pull can absorb anything that needs to be released from the back of the body. Very good. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, allow the back of your body to release even further. Very good. That's much better. You might even notice yourself leaning back slightly as the tension starts to release from all of the back of the body. Start noticing your body soften. Start noticing your cells feeling a little bit lighter and more at ease. Very good. And now I'll let you all decide what it is that you need the most in this moment in time. Maybe you need some love. Or maybe you need a sense of support. Or maybe you want to feel held. Or perhaps you want to feel more joyful or playful. Or maybe you want to feel more capable and confident. Whatever it is that you need the most in this moment in time, and you can decide consciously or you can just allow your subconscious mind to decide for you. We're going to set the intention that whatever it is that you need the most in this moment in time. We'll set the intention for that to now flow through to you. You can imagine yourself in a column of light, almost like a ray of sunshine or a spotlight. And set the intention that whatever it is that you need most in this moment in time to feel complete. So allow the energy of whatever that is to start to flow through into your body almost like a waterfall of energy, a waterfall of what you need streaming through to you. And take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. And give more permission for that to come through. So in your mind, I want you to say, I give 100% my full permission. And I dare you to believe that it could be that easy for you to receive exactly what you need right now. Humor me and pretend that it is. It's allowing whatever you need most to start to flood into all of your body.
to the front of your body, through to the back of your body. Filling and feeding and nurturing, realigning, invigorating every single inch of your being. All of your cells, all of your organs and all of your limbs filling effortlessly with exactly what you need. Take another nice, easy, deep breath in. Breathing out slowly and fully. Very good. And just take a moment as that all sinks in, as it settles in. As your cells all remember exactly what it feels like to feel complete. Remember that all of your cells in your body they all have their own little muscle memory. So just allow this feeling to start to be imprinted in the memory of all of yourselves. Take another nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. Bring your attention to your heart center. Yeah. Let's remind your heart that it's remembered, that it's valued, and that it's appreciated. Allow your heart center to soften just a little bit. Nice. And now invite it to soften even more. We'll remind the heart that it's safe for the heart to be soft and open. Because as the heart softens, all we do is fill it with as much love as possible so that the heart is strong. Sturdy, complete. We allow the heart to embody the strength that comes from love. And start to remind the heart that it's actually the strongest when it's fully embodying love in its true and natural form. We often think of love as making us vulnerable, when in fact, love is what makes us strong. So give yourself your permission to be as strong as you possibly can be. And as your heart starts to soften, you just download an abundance of unconditional love into all of your heart. And as that energy enters your heart, that energy is captivated in your heart center. It's held in the heart center, but it also starts to generate its own energy. So in receiving that energy of unconditional love, you start to create your own energy of unconditional love. 
and suddenly the heart starts to remember what its purpose was all along. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. Very good. Now imagine that you can start to project that energy of love out through your heart center from the front and from the back. You can project that energy into creating a little bubble all around you. And as you project love into your bubble, the bubble projects love back into your heart. So you have this self-fulfilling cycle of projecting love into your bubble and your bubble projecting love back into you. And your heart projects love into your bubble and your bubble projects love back into you. And start noticing how your own love feeds you. And as it feeds you, it grows. As it grows, it strengthens. And once again, you remember that your heart's job all along was to embody and generate and create love. To project love. Notice how safe it feels to be immersed in love. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. Very good. And again, just give 100% your full permission to feel that love. Some of your permission levels are low. So in your head, say I give 100% my full permission to be love. Hmm. Love doesn't have to be serious. It can be playful and fun. It's better. And we'll take that a time, a moment, and all of that lovely love that you've just generated within you, we're going to pay it forward. Notice how lovely it feels to share love, even though we're fully capable of generating it for ourselves. It's still lovely to spread the love. So all of that love that you've just cultivated, I'd like you to all set the intention that as a group, and as this lovely community that we've all formed together, that we can take a little bit of the love that we've cultivated and we can send that love to Abigail. And we'll send some of the love that we've cultivated to Lucy. And we'll collectively send the love that we've made to Carly. We'll send love to Hannah. And send love to Roberta. We'll send love to Caroline. Send love to Sean. Send love to Katie. We'll send love to Johnny. We'll send love to Sabine. We'll send love to Rebecca. We'll send love to Abby. 
We'll send love to Marta. We'll send love to John. We'll send love to Gemma. We'll send love to Al. We'll send love to Jack. We'll send love to Nicole. We'll send love to Amelia. We'll send love to Eileen. We'll send love to Louise. We'll send love to Elise. We'll send love to Linda. And we'll send love to me, to Veronica. And we can also take a moment and send love to those who we care about the most. And we'll take a moment and we'll send love to those who need it the most. We'll take a moment and send love to the entire planet. And take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and fully. Bring your attention once more to the weight of your body in the chair or on the floor. Bring your attention to the soles of your feet on the ground. Give a hundred percent your full permission to be grounded once more. For your body to be really deeply rooted to feel centered, to feel stable. And we'll set the intention that all of those lovely feelings, all of that energy, whatever it was that you needed the most, and all of those energies of love that we channel through, set the intention that they can really be anchored into your body, anchored into your space. Remember that it's safe for you to feel at ease. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Feeling back in the room. Back in the present back in this moment, and back in the now. Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome back everybody. Very lovely. Feel free to write in the comments um, how you're feeling or share anything that you'd like to share of um, your experience. Lovely. Thanks, Roberta. Roberta said that that was really relaxing. She felt relaxed. Anybody else? Oh, you're welcome, Sabine. Thank you. And thank you, Sean. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, Linda. Thank you as well. Lovely. Johnny said he's feeling nice and chilled and Lucy's feeling lovely and mellow. You're welcome. My pleasure, Rebecca. It's so nice. Lovely. Gemma says she's feeling very zen. Lovely. You're very welcome. 
Um, oh, thank you, Louise. And Abby. Oh, they're all coming through. Lovely. Everyone's feeling really relaxed. That's lovely to see. Thank you, guys. And Al, gorgeous. Thank you. And Marta. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. So, um, as mentioned, I am going to pause these sessions. I've been doing these sessions weekly for the past five weeks, um, and it's been an absolute pleasure. I've really enjoyed them, and um, I love that you will come together and share this with me. Um, but yes, I'm going to pause them for the time being. I will absolutely um, send everybody a message when I am available and able to start them back up again. Um, so I do really enjoy them. And um, that's okay, Jack. Sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, but in the meantime, there's three ways that you guys can still benefit from this work or keep in touch with me. Um, on Sundays, I am still hosting a very similar vibe to this, um, look free healings, healings and meditations on Instagram on Sunday mornings, it's at 10am and you're all welcome to join, it's free as well and um, it's just another lovely way to, to help everybody to feel topped up with good vibes. So if you would like to continue this work, you can still find me on Instagram doing that every Sunday. I'll be available. If you're not available in the mornings as well, the recording actually stays on my page for 24 hours. So you're more than welcome to revisit it if 10 a.m. doesn't suit you. Um, I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So if any of you need personal support or personal healing, um, or you know need a bit of guidance or a bit of structure during these tricky times, you're more than welcome to arrange a complimentary chat with me and we can talk about your needs and what I offer and see if that's a match. And, um, and also I have in just under two weeks, my emotional empowerment course is starting, which I'm very excited about. Um, during the course, we're going to be going over different techniques, very similar to what I teach, um, to what I use during these sessions. Um, there are different techniques to help everybody to feel more at ease within their bodies. My aim is to teach people how to release tension and um, emotions that are no longer serving them for themselves. So the idea is here is for you to learn how to be empowered in clearing symptoms of stress, anxiety, or any past traumas or anything like that from your body and um, having all of the tools that you need to be able to support yourself in that way. We'll also be exploring lots of energy healing techniques and um, just empowering your abilities to connect to your own inner wisdom. So really understanding that your body is always wanting to communicate with you as is your mind and your emotions. And if we take the time to harness our inner wisdom, we can guide our lives in a much more effective way that supports us. So if you're interested in any of the things that I've mentioned, again, you can either come for free to the Instagram live, you can contact me for a complimentary consultation for coaching, or you're more than welcome also to join the course, which starts on Monday, the 11th of May. So very, very soon. Um, I'm actually offering 50% off the course, which starts on Friday, that discount for five days. So if you're interested, give me a shout. I can send you some information about it. And, um, and that's all from me. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been such a pleasure to have your company and to have a group to do this with. Um, you're all awesome and um, I send you all of my love and like I said when I can jump back to these sessions on Wednesdays I will definitely give you a shout because it's my pleasure to share it with you and uh, in the meantime please look after yourselves I send you all of my love and um, I wish you well bye everybody bye bye bye, -bye. Veronica what's your